The Baltimore Ravens host the Cleveland Browns on Sunday. Baltimore installed as a six and a half point favorite on Bet Dak, 44 the total in this game. This is a mismatch and has been for a long time. Baltimore has won 10 straight games in this rivalry. Keep in mind these two teams play twice a year, and most of those 10 games haven't been close. The Ravens winning those games by an average of 12.9 points per game. Why are we supposed to think this year is going to be any different? The Browns last week looked like the Browns in their home loss to the Miami Dolphins. The offense, the new offense installed by new head coach Rob Chudzinski and offensive coordinator Norv Turner, looked a lot like the old offense and only managing 10 points. Brandon Whedon, not sure if he regressed from last season because he was certainly inconsistent last season, had some bad games then as well, but did not play a good game in week one threw three interceptions, was sacked six times. Trent Richardson was bottled up, only rushed for 47 yards. So I'm sure the Baltimore defense, after having a real tough time on the road in week one against Peyton Manning in that Denver offense, is going to be a welcome change to come home and face Brandon Whedon and these Cleveland Browns. And remember, Cleveland will again be without their best receiver in this game as Josh Gordon sits out another game for that drug-related suspension. So uh, to me, there's just... There's not a whole lot to like about the Browns in this matchup. Baltimore's better in every facet. The Baltimore offense was not the problem last week. Joe Joe Flacco threw for over 360 yards. And so I I expect that offense to have some success against this Cleveland defense. Cleveland, a pretty good defense. But keep in mind, that Denver defense last week that Baltimore saw ranked top five in the NFL in every major statistical category last season. I know they were missing a couple of players, but still. That Denver defense they saw last week still probably going to be better than the Cleveland defense will end up being this season. Like I said, tough to make a case for Cleveland here. A lot of reasons to like Baltimore. I think Baltimore better should be thankful that the Ravens lost in such a lopsided way in week one. That's what's kept the line to a relatively reasonable six and a half here instead of the nine or ten it most likely would have been had Baltimore won last week or played Denver close. So, There's an opportunity here, I think. Baltimore is going to get their 11th straight win in this rivalry, and I think they're going to cover the 6.5.